Welcome on in, Taurus. Welcome to this special reading I have for you for your birthday. Happy birthday. I know, you know, I'm a little bit slower on the draw here, but I'm here finally. And I hope y'all are having a great birthday. And I'm not a Taurus, but I am a Taurus rising. So I'm very much looking forward to this reading. It is a reading just for you that nobody else gets this month because it's your birthday and we're going to look at what the advice is for you over the next birth year. So yeah, this is good for from now till, hmm, I don't know, should we say like next May, right? And I am going to be working with the Sacred travel Traveler Oracle cards as I do every month when I do the birthday reading. For the signs so we'll see what you get this month taurus what do the cards have to say spirit what advice can you show me through these cards for taurus and taurus risings for the next year from this taurus season to next taurus season what is that was a jumper. I don't know if you saw it in a lean forward. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life, taking shelter. Whoa, whoa. Okay. I'm going to say as a Taurus rising, I this is resonating with me. This is kind of, kind of almost like the hermit card in a way, if you think about it, um, with that lantern there and finding that light within to guide you on your pathway. And look, the pathway is leading toward abundance. Let me say it's kind of looks a little bit like a mixed bag in a way, okay, because it might be that, well, we've got that North Node in Taurus right now, so everybody's focused on all things Taurus, right? That's where energetically, collectively, we're being pushed towards all things Taurus. But with the eclipses, you know, in Taurus and in Scorpio, well, it's bringing about a bit of a shakeup here, and I am feeling that with the taking shelter, so... Uh, and also, you know, you can't can't forget Uranus and Taurus, which is a longer transit, which almost has this kind of very destabilizing impact on Taurus. We don't like it, right? We're fixed. And if you're like me, God help you, double, maybe triple fix. Some of you <laughs> do not like to be shaken up, all right? And so I'm going to dive a little bit deeper in this. Um, I'm going to get some more messages on these cards and perhaps even clarify because I am seeing a contrast here like... Oh, we got to go deeper into this. Before we do, I'm going to have a quick message for you, and hopefully you will stay tuned. It's a couple minutes long about how you can know more about uniquely how, you know, the next birth year is impacting you. And if you wait to the end of this, like, two-minute message, we're going to go deeper into what's here. Did you know that your birthday is a great time to treat yourself to a solar report? What's a solar report? Some of you are asking. Well, it's a year ahead astrological report showing what the next 12 months will likely bring for you based upon the time when the sun reaches the exact degree of your natal chart sun. What does it cover? Well, it covers all 12 areas of life represented by all 12 houses. Yes, that's relationships, romance, it's career and money, it's family and healing. And what you'll know from this report is your main focus for the year ahead, where you're most and least supported in your efforts, where you're the most lucky, where you're the most challenged, right? Very important because some of you, you know, maybe you want to focus on your career, but actually the most support you're getting in the year ahead is with home and family. It's not that you can't be a success with that, but getting that information really helps to equip you with the challenges in the year ahead and take advantage of the good luck and fortune in the areas of life where you're getting it astrologically. Another thing that you'll know from this report is where the major changes are most likely to occur for you in the year ahead, where you can expect the unexpected, what is your blind spot, where are you most prone to deception and lack of clarity. This is very helpful so that if you're making very important decisions in life to make these major changes, you can kind of get a second set of lenses to say, you know, Probably in this area, I might not be seeing things exactly clearly or getting all the information. So I'm going to double check. I'm going to do my homework to really make for sure that I pivot optimally. Another thing that you can learn from this report is what are the main pain points 
in the year ahead that you're likely to occur because that's going to show where to focus your self-healing, where to work on self-love, where you need to be gentle with yourself over the year ahead, very important for your spiritual growth. And also what's likely to make you angry over the next year, very important for doing damage control. You know, it comes up for all of us, but you know, when we are forewarned, we are forearmed. And I think all this information that you can get out of a solar report is going to really equip you to make the most of all the energies that are uniquely up ahead for you and you alone. So if you're interested in this 30 minute reading, I am offering it as a special for you know, my happy birthday to you. It's 30 minutes for $50. And who might be interested in this? Well, if you're having a birthday right now, if you've got a birthday coming up or you just had one or you're in the middle of your birthday season, absolutely would be a good time to take advantage and get a snapshot of what's coming up for you in the next solar year. And if you want to take advantage of that offer, then make sure to reach out to me at crownedones.weebly.com. I will have the link in the description box and the comments down below. Okay, so this is quite an interesting message. I've been sitting with it for a while. By the way, thanks for watching through to that message. Um, But getting into this message here, I'm getting a timeline, all right, that uh, we need to be aware of. And I'm seeing like a winter timeline here. I'm seeing fall over here as well. But I'm also getting almost kind of a spring vibe off of this intuitively, okay? Even though visually I'm seeing autumn fall time, I'm getting spring. So maybe some of you, you know, some of you are down under in Australia and maybe it's flipped. You're going to have to take it how it applies. Um, Maybe, maybe I'll clarify a little bit more in a moment, but let me say this, that right now during the spring, some of you are coming into some kind of financial abundance. You're having, if it's not money coming your way, it's opportunities coming your way, but you got to use it wisely because I'm getting also this timeline that by winter, it's almost like you have to prepare for winter. Okay. Whether this is spring, summer, fall, whatever timeline applies to you, I am seeing that by the end of this year, by winter time this year in the Northern hemisphere, um, you will need to have used these resources wisely, almost like a pioneer, okay, back in the old days where, you know, they plant their seeds in spring, they would work the fields all summer, they would reap the harvest in fall, and they would can and preserve their foods and chop their wood because if they didn't really do that, if they weren't responsible, then they were not going to make it through the winter. Okay. I know that sounds really dire the way I'm saying this, uh, but you know, I've been hearing in the news, a lot of reports about food shortages, a lot of, and for those of you who follow my channel, I have been, and I will be talking more about this, this type of stuff, but as a Taurus, as an earth sign, Um, particularly with the nodes in Taurus and Scorpio, which are signs having a lot to do with money, values, possessions, resources, and collectively, we are all growing in our concern of these things. I'm just going to say, right, Taurus, does the bull does not like to be tipped. And so be very prudent about the resources that are coming in to you right now. And in the months to come, use them very wisely, use them very responsibly, because I can see by the end of this year, you are, you're going to need to, I don't know why I just heard hunker down, okay? I'm not trying to scare any of you. I am um, forewarning you to forearm you, right? To make it through any kind of hardship that's coming up, because right now I'm seeing probably over the next six months, If you have not already received some kind of breakthrough or abundance, um, and I'm definitely seeing for those of you who are, you know, Taurus sun born, you know, you are, you are Taurus, the the sun is shining on you. It's shining blessing on you astrologically. It's attracting a lot of benefic energy to you. Okay. So, but there's also, right, we can't deny that Uranus is in Taurus, has been and will be for quite some time. We cannot deny we're dealing with all of these um, eclipses granted this month. We've got that solar eclipse in uh, Taurus, April 30th, I believe, um, if I'm remembering correctly. So again, really uh, positive for over the next six months, bringing in blessing. And so, by the way, I am just totally flowing with y'all astrologically this is what I'm feeling led to tell you that 
you do have a lot of blessing coming in over the next six months, starting this month. If you don't already feel it this month, and I suspect some of you already do um, by, you know, uh, late April, I can see all the way into um, October time frame, okay? But at the same time, do not take this for granted because all of this is to be used wisely to prepare you for what is happening by the end of this year. And um, if you want to know what this not pretty stuff is, you know, like I will, I talk more about this in my astrology. So please subscribe if you haven't already, you know, or, um, you know, also subscribe because I will be talking more about this kind of economic, political stuff that's going on and affecting us collectively through the lens of astrology and tarot. For those of you who are interested, I will be doing more of that. Well, let me say, I mean, just if we went textbook by the cards, right? Because I had been flowing previous, right? But if we were to look at textbook, what does this card mean? Um, it is really a fantastic omen that you need to open yourself up to receive right now and that there's a lot of activation in the spirit realm of your prosperity and abundance um, flowing into your life and if this is not about money and resources and possessions it could be you know relationships things like uh, different opportunities business opportunities and just the, uh, having the ability to um, pursue your dreams and pursue the direction in life that you really want to go so this is absolutely positive but it's also about the cycles of life, right? So I'm talking about seasons, right? And leading up to now, you know, I've been talking about the seasons of spring, summer, fall, and then over here I'm seeing winter. And this, so this is about seizing the moment. What season of life are you in right now? What field is ripe for harvesting in your life right now? And yeah, I'm talking not literally, but metaphorically. So um, for some of you, you know, you're it, right. It's going to be different for different people. Maybe it's time to plant seeds. Maybe it's time to work that field. Maybe, you know, and maintain it and protect it. Uh, maybe it's time to harvest. Okay. But I suspect for many of you, this is a planting and maintaining and protecting time. Um, and whatever you do harvest from all of this investment and effort, uh, you, you're going to need to manage those resources wisely because you're going to need to use them later. Um, this is like some kind of outpouring of money, energy, time, love. Um, some of you need to adopt more of an abundance mindset. Um, I'm hearing some of you becoming a better steward of what you are given, meaning that you, you've got gratitude for what you have and you make the most of your resources, right? Like, um, maybe I'm not in a position to have my own farmland like Bill Gates, right? <laughs> Buy up the whole farms of the United States. <laughs> but I mean, um, and I, perhaps I can't even have my own home garden, you know, because of my circumstances or my resources. I can't afford that, perhaps, perhaps, just saying as an example. But what can I do? I can, I can learn how to regrow my vegetables and that's something I'm going to be sharing with people on my channel, not throwing things away and having more of a waste-free kitchen. So, you take better care of things and you don't throw your seed away. You don't eat your seed. You plant it. You you cultivate it. You harvest it. And that one seed that you're given turns into hundreds upon hundreds that give you more than enough for yourself, but enough to share abundantly with others, right? I don't know why I'm hearing. I need to tell somebody listening here, scarcity is manufactured. Let me say it again. Scarcity is manufactured, right? Going back to the seed analogy, one seed produces how many more seeds? I know some of you are like, I don't care about gardening. I'm not into that. It's a metaphor, okay? Everything naturally occurring is for you to not be in lack, but for you to be in abundance. So if there is some kind of lack, it's manufactured. You need to tap into and understanding that you are here to have abundance and to live in abundance and to share it with others. This is also about you giving deeply and fully of who you are and what you have. I'm hearing the law of reciprocation. And so this is about growing and advancing and multiplying. I'm hearing now, and I don't know why the Bible verse is coming to me, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. This is what you gotta think on. Some of you, Again, how you're going to be fruitful and multiply over the next six months, spirit is with you and showing you. You've got to pray and meditate, right? Praying is 
is asking, meditating is listening. So you got to pay each, because for each of you, the answer is going to be unique and different. But again, if we go on a textbook, what does this card mean? It is really about you perhaps with retreating and withdrawing to find those answers. You deciding, what do I need to do to replenish my inner reserves, my inner resources? This is about you allowing these ideas of growth and prosperity to percolate. Some of you maybe right now need to take a time out and I'm hearing a reset. Okay. You know, they're trying to do a global reset. What you, are you ready for your reset? And with the energy, the reset collectively is about us becoming more self-reliant. That's Taurus right there, North Node and Taurus. So some of you need to take a time out to figure out how you become more self-sufficient, self-reliant. How do you protect your resources? How do you grow them? And, and for some of you, that time out may uh, involve you actually doing something like with physical objects around your home. Perhaps you're organizing your possessions or your healing relationships and protecting yourself from less than positive outside forces, right? Like I've gone through as a Taurus rising, recently gone through my stockpile, my pantry, my refrigerator, my freezer, and I've taken an inventory of what do I have enough of and what do I not? How do I replenish, restock in a really mindful, prudent way for the future? So that if I need to take shelter in the future, I have enough to get me through, enough to protect me from outside forces, right? Like all of these news stories we're hearing about farmlands getting bought up by zillionaires <laughs> and, you know, um, factories burning down and whatnot. I don't mean to get all too off into that, but um, some of you may be like crypto deciding, you know, I, I don't like where, where fiat currency is going and I'm going to get crypto and I'm going to protect my resources from my crypto resources, from all these cyber attacks by getting a hard wallet, okay? These are just different ideas of you strategizing in a very practical way about protecting your abundance now and in the future. Some of you, this is also about uh, cutting and clearing out, uh, cutting out and clearing out clutter, simplifying your life, donating things that you don't love, need, use, making space for things that you do. This is also about taking care of details and creating a strong, firmer foundation. Because I do see some kind of spurt of energy here, like very energized, particularly while the sun is in Taurus. Uh, some of you may be overwhelmed, but seize the moment again, because I see a lot of a lot of opportunity coming in so that you're sitting pretty by the end of this year. And I do see that if it's not the end of this year or winter time, it might be when some kind of circumstances arise. And again, I'm not telling you, this is not a private reading. I'm not telling you that bad things are going to happen in your life, but we know how life is. It rains, it pours, sometimes the sun is out, right? Be prepared for whatever weather, astrological weather comes your way, um, because I do see that very possibly uh, this is not around that timeline. It, something is going to come up and whatever spirit is given to you towards abundance, it is to prepare you for this. But again, if you eat your seed, if you throw your seed away, you don't invest it, you don't maintain it, you don't cultivate it, you don't protect it. Uh, I, I don't, I don't see that going well. And I'm hearing this story is coming to me. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you ever heard the story about somebody who was caught in a flood and they were praying for God to come and rescue them. And somebody came in a boat to come and rescue them. And it wasn't what they wanted. And somebody came in a helicopter to rescue them. And it wasn't what they wanted, right? It might not be the way you want. But you can't say God didn't send something. Look at what God is sending to rescue you beforehand. And it might not be definitely with Taurus and Uranus, it might be unexpected. It might be random or, you know what, this is not quite what I had in mind. And I could say it as a double fixed Taurus rising. I have to talk myself through that kind of stuff at times because I don't, if I, I like it a certain way and if it doesn't come the way I like, then I want to just throw it out, which is not the best, right? We got to work on that Taurus. So just want to put that out there. But um, this is about you coming into a new, a new cycle. All right. And a new beginning. And knowing the importance of rest and recuperation and taking care of your body and your health. 
Some of you also need to pay attention to dreams and insights about your future, but repair whatever needs to be repaired in your life right now. Because some of this I'm also seeing intuitively is about your social currency. You know, if, if there, let's say if there was a flood, for example, do you know your neighbors? Do you have neighbors you can trust? Um, your friends that are offline, your friends and family, uh, have you allied yourself with people who empower you, who have resources to share, who are trustworthy, who can plug you in with opportunities? And if you haven't, it's time to cultivate that. I could go on and on about this, as you could see, but I am going to leave it here for now. I hope this has blessed you. Y'all have a great birthday. And until next time, wishing you guys all the best. Be blessed.